Ho, ho, ho! Welcome, boys and girls, to my magical workshop. It's a special time here at the workshop. The elves, Mrs. Claus, and I are so excited. Are you excited? <laughs> Sounds like they are, Jingle. I love this time of year because it reminds us that everyone is special. Even though we may not sound or look the same, we're all perfect just the way we are. Right. Not everyone is little like me, but if the elves and I were big like you, we wouldn't be able to make teeny tiny parts for toys. That's right. Not everyone loves the cold and snow like we do. Some people like to live where it's warm all year round. Loving the cold weather is what brought Mrs. Claus and me to the North Pole. Can you imagine Santa on the beach? <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay if other people like it. Our difference is what makes us all interesting. It would be boring if we were all the same. Yes, it would. Boys and girls, tell us one fun thing about you that isn't like anybody else. That's Wonderful! Great. See? We're all special and different in our own way, and that's what makes us interesting. Speaking of interesting, it's time to meet those reindeer. Miranda is here to tell us all about them. Hi, I'm Miranda from Wood TV 8. Thanks for letting me come on your show today. I have a very special friend I'd like you to meet. This is Olaf. Olaf says hello. He's a reindeer. Let's find out more about Olaf and all his friends here at the ranch. Hi, I'm Carol Borden. I'm the owner of Reindeer Ranch. This is my granddaughter, Stella Borden. Uh, we want to welcome you to Reindeer Ranch today. Uh, we're here in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Uh, we've had reindeer here for about 21 years, and we have about 18 reindeer on the farm right now. So the, both boys and girls have antlers. Um, reindeer and caribou are the only species of deer that both, boys, both genders have uh, the antlers. The girls' antlers are a little bit smaller. Um, some of them you'll see are just this year's calves um, and up to uh, last year that they were just little babies and they got pretty good size antlers already. And all the way up to our big bulls that have got um, probably about 25 to 30 pound of antler on their head. They're just great big boys. <laughs> they shed their antlers every single year. That's what the difference between an antler and a horn is. A horn will stay on their, on their head every year just like a cow. An antler falls off every year and they grow new. And they'll grow these antlers at about four to five months time, which is amazing when they're growing 30 pounds of antler on their head. So this is off from some of our, um, the female antlers here. This is one of our hides here. This is showing for one in the middle of the winter time how um, thick that their hides can be. They have about 18,000 hairs per square inch, which really helps keep them nice and warm during the winter time. Um, the antlers grow from their head. We have the area um, here on their, where they're on their skull. It's called the pedicle, and that's where the antlers grow from. So any antler and animal will have this pedicle that is part of their skull, and the antlers will automatically grow from there. Um, when the antlers are growing, they're covered in a soft, fuzzy fur called velvet, and that's what this is. Um, it's nice and um, soft. It actually feels like the material velvet, which is kind of how it got its name. And when the antlers are growing, they have a lot of blood flow in, their ant in the antlers. The velvet is protecting them and helping them to grow. And they'll grow four and five, six inches in a day. So it's amazing how fast they'll grow. But the antlers, like I said, they fall off every year. So this is one of our sheds off of one of our, just one of our young females. And you can see right here is where they were actually attached to the skull. And they just fall off, kind of like losing a baby tooth, except for they do it every year. Um, we also have their, um, some of their, hot, their feet here to show how they um, will stand up, how their toes will spread apart, and they'll actually can stand up on the snow. They use the back of their foot here called the dew claw. They're one of the few animals that actually use their dew claw. So it works very much like a snowshoe when they stand up on the snow. And they can also cup their foot together just like we would cup our hands together and it makes a nice concave shape and it works very much like a shovel. So they can break through the snow and be able to get down and find something to eat in the wintertime. Well, they're big and strong. They got their antlers that help them steer. They got their big feet that can help them you know, be able to fly around. They just, you know, they're, they're adapted to the cold weather and stuff, so they do do really good up there in the altitude where it gets really cold up there. And of course, with Santa's magic, that just helps them go really fast, so. I love reindeer because they're, they're really special to people and they are 
very pretty and special to a lot of people. I love Olaf and I love Randy Ranch so much. Jingles Joke Corner! Yay! Hey, Amira, would you like to hear one last joke? Of course, Jingle, I love your jokes. What do you get when Santa plays detective? I don't know, what do you get when Santa plays detective? Santa clues! <laughs> <laughs> hey kids, here's the winner of last week's holiday spirit photo. And here's last week's word of the week winner. Congratulations, and keep spreading that holiday cheer. Do you know how unique you are? Let's read a story about how being different can make you more special than you could ever imagine. The Tree That's Meant to Be by Yavel Zomer. Dedicated to the forest. I am the tree that's meant to be. I started life as a tiny seed, but soon enough it was plain to see that I was never, ever, going to be a perfect grown-up tree. I branched a bit to the left, too much to the right, and didn't really focus on my height. While other trees grew poised and tall, I lagged behind, looked different, feeling small. Spring, summer, Autumn, seasons came, stayed, and went. Then one harsh, cold winter night, the forest turned snowy white. The people came with measuring tapes and saws, searching for a flawless tree, a Christmas tree to cut and take indoors. Soon, one by one, the other trees were gone. It was just me now. Alone, I shivered. I shuddered. Is, is anyone there? I stuttered into the night. But who would hear my cry? Who, would, who could speak the language of tree and understand me? And then at dawn, foxes, deer, and birds, they had heard. Everyone brought berries, feathers, nuts, and flowers. They dressed me for hours and hours until I was a jolly festive tree. Hello, hello, welcome squirrel, greetings bear. Laughter filled the air. My clearing rang with Christmas cheer. As darkness fell, a shooting star dropped down. It sank into my branches and shone so pure, so bright, that I became a tree of light. Among the creatures, great and small, I felt loved. I felt tall. Seasons came, stayed, and went. I was no longer alone. This is my forest home. Through wind and rain, sun and snow, I grow. Always here, ever green. I am the tree that's meant to be. Just like our friend, the tree, you are exactly who you are meant to be. The things we think may be unusual or weird about ourselves are really the things that make us wonderful and important. Never forget exactly how special you are. From all of us here at the North Pole, we wish you the very best of the season. I want to challenge all of you 
to keep the spirit of the holidays going all year round. Remember to try to help those of your community and to celebrate those unique things that make us all magical. And remember, sharing and kindness are the best gifts of all. Happy Holidays.